Well, we understand the Trump administra administration is saying it plans to make North Korea stop its nuclear program within months. How will they do it when leader Kim Jong-un says that's a joke and that's not going to happen? Fox News strategic analyst and retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters joins us now to weigh in on, I guess, Colonel, options that should be considered just as the USS Vinson is now within striking distance of North Korea. Liz, this is the most challenging, the most difficult geostrategic problem we face. It makes, it makes ISIS look like child's play. And oh. I think there are people in the United States, especially those not familiar with military operations, who imagine that this could be done with some sort of limited surgical strike. If we were com indeed compelled to take out North Korea's nuclear uh, development program and missile programs, it would be a real war. Because we couldn't just do that. We'd have to take out as much as we could of their ability to retaliate against South Korea against Japan, um, it would be a, a, a wave of strikes that, in my view, would have to be more intense than those we launched against Saddam Hussein if you're going to do it right and strip their retaliatory capability. So this is not something to be taken lightly. It's not just Washington games. But that being said, uh, we never should forget that for all our federal government does to us and for us, its primary reason for existence is to protect the United States Okay. citizens and territories and if it comes to a threat against our territory and citizens we do have to act how about this colonel uh, this is just moving on the wires vladimir putin the russian leader is now calling for a resumption of six ways international talks on north korea w what does that mean tell our viewers it means that vladimir putin's trying to be a player he suffered a number of uh, geostrategic reverses lately but the, the key player here i mean does that tamp down some tension no. No, I mean, it, because Russia's irrelevant to this. China is the only external party that really matters. And China, I think, has, I fear, has misled, uh, misled President Trump into thinking they're really going to do something this time. They've run mm -hmm. this past a number of our presidents. And so if China isn't ready to act decisively, eventually we start shooting. How does this all play in, and we don't mean to be crass, but as a business network, I'm just wondering if some of that has to do with keeping a lid on bigger gains on a day like today. Well, I, I suspect it would, because I would certainly be concerned. Um, again, this isn't, this isn't Syria and, and cruise missiles. If we had to go in against North Korea, mm -hmm. it would be a real war. Now, <clears throat> We don't have to do it yet. There's still some time, and God knows peace would be better. But Kim Jong-un is not only so unpredictable, but I think so uninformed about the reality of his military situation that we could wind up in a conflict that nobody really wants. Colonel Ralph Peters, thank you so much. Thank you, Liz. Great.